Hello YouTube, my name is Sarah if you didn't know, and today's situation is going to be my everyday makeup routine. Since we've been in quarantine, I don't wear makeup that often, and even before quarantine, or kind of like this weird time in life, I don't know if you're still in quarantine, but anyway, I never really wore makeup because I'm not very good at it. I've been trying to get better every time I do a video, obviously I do my makeup, but with mask wearing and not really going that many places, I don't wear that much makeup that often. I thought today might be a good time to do an everyday makeup routine, show my skills, and hopefully over time I'll be able to see how much better I get. And Before I do my makeup, I like to put on like a headband or something to just get my hair out of the way. Obviously this is a good look. Shouts out to Hannah Maloche for normalizing headbands. Before I do my makeup, I always brush my teeth, so I'll be doing that. Now, I think if you're wearing makeup, you're probably going somewhere and you should have fresh breath to go there. After I do my makeup, I like to use a sugar scrub just on my lips to get all the dead skin off. This is just from Lush. I know there are tons of DIY lip scrubs you can do, but this has just lasted me a long time. I've had it for a while. I like to just kind of lick my lips a little bit so that they're wet. You can put water, it doesn't really matter. And then I go ahead and put it right on. And then I finish off with some lip chap. This is just Blistex. Big Blistex fan. <laughs> okay, so now let's actually get into the makeup stuff. I normally start by just putting on some face lotion. This is just clean and clear, nothing fancy. I do two pumps of that and just apply it all over my face. Then I take my Infallible Lock Matte. I got this at Walmart. This is a mattifying primer. I just do a squirt of that and then I just apply it. Pretty simple. So these are my two favorite foundations. Depending on how much coverage I want is what I'll choose. On a lighter day, I like to go with the nude stick, so if I'm doing something very casual, this is a lot more sheer and just like a tinted cover-up. This NARS one, which I don't even think they make anymore, which really sucks because this is my very favorite foundation, but this is a higher coverage. I'm running pretty low on it, but I'm still able to get a little bit out of it, but that's what I'll use if I want higher coverage. Today, I'm just gonna go with this because there's no reason for me to have full coverage makeup. To apply that, I like to use either a brush, which this is a Sephora foundation brush, or I like to use my Beauty Blender. Sometimes I use them both, but today I think I'll just be using my Beauty Blender. What I like to do is just squirt a little bit onto the back of my hand, how professional. And then I will take my Beauty Blender, get it wet, nice and bouncy. I don't like to leave it like sopping wet, obviously, like you can squeeze it out on a cloth or something. Then I just dip it in. I like to apply like dots of it all around my face before I blend it in. Then I go ahead and I do the blending. So as a darker skinned woman, I do have to make sure that I cover up my little mustache as it does kind of show through, but if I apply makeup, it does help. I just have a darker upper lip than obviously someone with fair skin does, so I do try and cover that up a little bit whenever I put on makeup. My next step is concealer. These are my two favorite concealers. Depending on how much coverage is what I use, if my bags under my eyes are really dark, I will use this one, and if they're not so bad, I'll use this one. I don't get a lot of blemishes, not to flex, but I don't use concealer to cover my pimples I, or anything like that. I only use it to cover up the discoloration under my eyes, and sometimes I get deep discoloration against my cheeks, and I'll use it there, but today I'm just putting it under my eyes. Today I'm just going to be using the Stila one, and I'll be using a concealer brush by Sephora. I'll put it right onto the brush, and then go under my eyes. I try to get right up to the waterline. I literally look crazy. <laughs> then I'll come back with my beauty blender and really get in and use the tip to get to my waterline and just blend that out a little bit more. Now that I have the concealer on, I'm moving on to powder. I use two different powders for my face, one being a MAC pressed powder and the other being a Makeup Forever powder. The plastic broke, so I have to put tin foil. But 
But the makeup for everyone is more of a translucent, lighter. I know it doesn't look like it matches my skin all that well, but I only use this to set my concealer. So if it's under my eyes, it keeps under my eyes looking bright. Then I use this one to take away the discoloration and kind of even out my skin tone, obviously because it matches a little bit better. I like to do the makeup for everyone first. I'm still using a Sephora brush. This is their powder brush. Just get the product on the brush and I go right under my eye and that is all. You could almost say this is like baking, but I don't leave it for that long, so I don't know. Then I'll swirl my brush in this one, get lots of product on there, and I'll start just doing like some nice circles around my face. And then with like the leftover, so after I've gone over my face with the darker one, I go in under my eye and just kind of blend that out, I guess you could say. Keeps under my eyes looking really bright, but it feels like my face is blended a little bit more by using the darker powder. I personally find, just to remind you, I'm not a makeup artist. I know next to nothing about makeup, but I'm just kind of learning and practicing a little bit more. So normally, if I was actually wanting to wear this makeup for a long time, I would set a setting spray at this point to set my foundation and powders. I do use the Urban Decay's All Night Setting Spray, but because I don't really need this to last very long, I'm not going to put it on. Then, this is where I do my blush and my highlight. I do start off with my blush. This is Sweet On You. It's from Sephora. It is like an orangey color. I just think orange complements my skin tone a little bit better than a pink does. So I use an orangey, peachish color to do my blush. I do not know where this brush is from, but just a random angled blush brush. Obviously, put it in there. I like to do my biggest smile and put it right along the apples of my cheeks and go back a little bit. So I just do here and go back. And then one more side, my biggest smile. And then I also like to add a little bit of the blush to the tip of my nose. For my highlight, I use MAC. So this is a mineralized skin finish in the color Global Glow. I think it's so pretty. Again, it has more of an orangey tone because that's what I feel complements my skin best. And I'm going to be taking a Pro Fan brush. This is from Sephora. I will be just kind of getting it all over the brush. And I like to go just above my blush with the thinner part. Go right along. And then I do one swipe the whole way. And then I go same thing over here. And then I'll use a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Next, I do my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow, which I, I feel like is like heavily used. I personally really like it. And I use their Pro Brow, or this is from Sephora, their Pro Brow Dual Ended has a spoolie and they brush on the end. The color that I use is dark brown. I have like black eyebrows basically and I heard you're supposed to fill them in with a shade lighter so it's not like super harsh and I find that works well for me. But what I like to do is brush my eyebrows all the way up so they're all fluffy here. Then I basically just do underneath my eyebrow and I fill in a little bit in the corner. This is going to be kind of hard to do on camera. Sorry, I have to do this off camera. Okay, so those are my eyebrows finished. Basically, after I pulled them all up or brushed them all up, I filled in the shape that I wanted. I do it very light-handedly, so I'll just go under my eyebrow, I'll do a tiny bit of an arch and kind of come down. Then I brush my eyebrows back into place nicely with the spoolie, obviously, and I'll fill in just a little bit on the top and a little bit on the back, just so I'm actually doing the shape of my eyebrow, not making up a new shape, if that makes sense. Sometimes they don't work out. I'm of the party that believes your eyebrows can be sisters, not twins. Now again, if I wanted this makeup to last for a long time, this is the second time I would use an all-day setting spray, is after I'm done my eyebrows and after I'm done my blush. So I'd go ahead and spray it and set that, but I'm not going to because I don't need to. My final step is mascara, which I never do with the all day setting spray because I find that it just like gets wet and runny sometimes. But what I like to use for mascara is the Rocket Volume from Maybelline. This is like $5 or $7 or something at Walmart. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now that the mascara is on, this is the finished look. Please keep in mind, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know a lot about makeup. I'm definitely still a beginner. Leave constructive criticism. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and you'll check out some of my other stuff. I like to do fashion videos, lifestyle videos, food videos. I really just do videos on stuff that I love and presenting it to you. Definitely check me out on Instagram, which is Sarah's Situation, if you'd like to see some photos and a little bit more content from me. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.